vitamin A maize, it's not a trait like red yield where you can actually see, see. So in the, how do you convince people to actually uh, uh, say this is a better product than the regular yellow maize? So the opportunity there is not just uh, for, from the scientific point of view. I think there's also a lot of consumers who would like to be able to compare, okay, this is what pro-vitamin A has versus pro-vitamin A maize has versus what regular may, yellow maize has. And the only way you can do that is by producing data. Uh, and this is an opportunity to do that. Having analytical uh, tools in, in, in Zambia or in any country where we are targeting these products, it's an opportunity to actually bring decision makers and uh, all policy makers to the table and actually say we are putting this investment here in your country to develop actual products, provide them an AMS for example, that it can actually change people's lives. Cartonoids are degraded in the presence of light, oxygen and heat. In orange biofortified maize, post-harvest cartonoid degradation can occur when samples are packaged at room temperature and sent for analysis overseas. Therefore, conducting the analysis in-country is crucial. Most important is the acquired in-country capacity to accurately measure pro-vitamin A cartonoids in biofortified maize and other biofortified crops such as sweet potato that are currently being deployed in Zambia. Well, it is important to have the analytical capacity uh, for carotenoids in maize because maize is right now in the market, it's in the, in the farmer's hands. So it is important to guarantee the quality of the final product that people are consuming. So the advantage of having these analytical tools in the region and create the capacity to be able to provide the accurate data for a carotenoid and pro-vitamin A carotenoid content in maize is also um, to ensure the sustainability of the program. With 53% of the Zambian population suffering from vitamin A deficiency and with maize as the staple crop, breeding pro-vitamin A maize provides the best entry point to address this health challenge. Maize is also a staple for the Southern African development community, including Malawi and Zimbabwe, among others. Analytical results for pro-vitamin A levels in orange maize have been generated by ensuring effective staff training and the acquisition of key equipment during the initial stages of the project. For the Zambian Agricultural Research Institute to continue to provide quality analytical services in pro-vitamin A maize in Zambia and the region, these efforts need to be sustained and improved with the support of Harvest Plus and Simit. The Zambian orange maize market value chain has emerged with three types of cartonoid maize. Yellow maize grown for the livestock industry. Vitamin A biofortified orange maize promoted by Harvest Plus for human consumption. And non-vitamin A orange maize promoted by CropServe seed company developed as stock feed. Vitamin A orange maize mill is the first coloured maize mill product to ever enter retail chain markets in the history of Zambia. However, the possibility of contaminating this product with other coloured products that are not vitamin A rich, for example yellow maize and orange maize from CropServe, is very high. Orange maize processors, both millers and food manufacturers, the Zambian Bureau of Standards and all local laboratories require capacities to distinguish between different cartonoid maize types. It is therefore important to develop the analytical capacity to be able to differentiate between these products. <laughs> 